Hey there, Capricorn. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus Capricorn for the week of December 20th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon sign and your Venus sign. Um, Moon is how you, like it's your emotional center, and Venus is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed for you or vice versa or flip flopped. Uh, just go ahead and assign those roles as they make sense. Uh, I won't be doing private readings for this week and next week while I spend a little more time with my family. We're looking at the overall energy here. Then we're going to check out your person. I'll clarify it as well as your energy and we'll clarify it. And I will be doing an extended reading for this. So stay tuned to figure out how to get that. All right. So we're looking at the overall here. Please like and subscribe for me because I post every single week here on YouTube, even the next couple of weeks. So we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, the seduction card. Uh, a couple things here. There is communication coming in. For some of you, this could be a third party situation that you're in. Um, and this could be a very spicy message coming in. I'm saying that because we've got the page of wands here, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Page of Wands is, uh, it's taking a new path at times, but it's also passion. It's excitement. Um, it's someone pursuing you. We've got the Ace of Swords, Aquarius energy very specifically, but this is something that kind of comes out of the blue or it takes you by surprise. We have the Moon in reverse, Cancer and Pisces. You could be dealing with a water sign here, but the Moon is things that are hidden um, maybe something that's been beneath the surface for the two of you. And this person finally says the quiet part out loud <laughs> for some of you, that's what's going on here. Or this is just kind of out of the blue. You haven't talked to this person in a very long time and they're dropping you this message that you just really didn't expect, or you didn't see it coming or you didn't prepare for it. We have... I feel you, even though we are apart, you may be in this person's energy and they may be all up in yours. Maybe you've been thinking about them for no apparent reason. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, I do think there's a little bit of nostalgia here. I do think this time of year does make people nostalgic. We're getting ready to end this year, right? You're taking stock of what happened. All right, let's check out this person's energy. Okay, so I think this person is maybe nostalgic for the past. We have the Six of Cups here. That is a card of the past. It's having a previous relationship with someone. Maybe they're your childhood sweetheart. Maybe they're just have this bittersweet um, feeling about you, thinking about the good times you had together with that Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a dating card. It's a friendship card. It's having fun with someone. Or this could mean that they want to go out with you again. We also have the Three of Pentacles here. This is someone maybe desiring a conversation with you. Um, they want to see you. They want to go out with you. And there are two threes here. For some of you, this is a third party situation. Whether you're married or they're married or somehow a third person figures in here. Eight of Wands is someone blowing up your phone. It's messages coming in. It's some movement. It's some momentum. Again, this is something kind of coming out of nowhere. We have got the Six of Wands wanting your attention, uh, wanting to win you over, wanting your affection, and the Knight of Cups. That's a hell of a lot of charm here. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, watery, um, very charming, very flirtatious. This person's going to be hard to resist from what I can tell here. This is someone pulling out all the stops. Maybe reminding you about the past with that Six of Cups. Do you remember when we took that trip? Do you, do you remember when, I don't know, we went to the beach? It's, it's someone just 
Mm, jarring your memory, coming out of nowhere, thinking about the past. For some of you, this is someone who wants a hookup, so just be aware. Mm, well, we do have the Ace of Pentacles here. They may want to plant a seed here with you and see if anything takes root. They may be trying to start a new cycle with you with the Ace of Pentacles here. They just want to see if you'll um, respond to them or what your response is, how you feel about it. Yeah, we've got the Sun card here. They need some clarity. That's Leo energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but they just want to know if they're going to get the green light from you. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they could want the truth here. Or this is just going to come flying out of nowhere. Like a really out of the blue um, bolt here. A lightning bolt thing. All right, let's check out your energy. Okay, Capricorn. All right, so we've got the Ace of Wands in reverse, which is a missed opportunity. Um, the Ace of Wands can be a relationship that really starts hot and heavy. There's a big spark between the two of you, but it burns out quickly sometimes. That's the impression I'm getting. With the temperance card in reverse, a Sag energy, maybe there wasn't a balance here in this relationship. Maybe this person wasn't meeting you halfway. That's also a card about being patient, and I think maybe you got tired of being patient for this person to kind of step up their game. Or you got tired of waiting around for them. Um, there's a whole movement thing going on here. We've got the chariot, cancer energy. So you could be traveling or you've energetically moved past this person or you are working on your career. I mean, go figure Capricorn. I say that with someone, um, as someone who has a Venus in Capricorn. The chariot is often about getting ahead in life. It can be travel. It can mean like energetically moving on or moving forward. We've got... The world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy, you could be dealing with one of those fixed signs. But again, the world is often about travel. You could have moved for work or you will be moving or thinking about moving, um, closing out a chapter of your life maybe um, as the year closes and moving, you're headed into your solar return here with your birthday coming up. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. There's a family vibe here. This is also a card about security and stability. So maybe that has been your focus, your own stability in your career, with your finances, uh, your home, your health, your wealth, or you're spending time with family and traveling. That's possible as well. King of Pentacles here is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Heavy on the Taurus, but it could be you as well. Um, you could have been dealing with another earth sign or this is just you showing up in your element in the upright, being very stable. I just don't think you see this one coming. And I don't think you know what to do with it either. So let's check out your energy. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, but it's a sense of like withdrawing from this person, maybe focusing on your own development. Uh, the Virgo energy here with Hermit is, is very much like self-reliance, um, learning about yourself, improving yourself. Knight of Wands is Leo, Sag, Aries energy. There is a fire sign in the mix here for some of you. Um, the Knight of Wands is often about pursuit. 
I'm going after something that lights me up. I've you know lit a fire under my behind. I'm after something. So for some of you, you've been after your own security and stability. You've been trying to move or trying to get ahead in life. This could also be the person that you're dealing with pursuing you. And we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, getting unstuck here. Um, letting go of something here, realizing your own power. Maybe you are stuck in this relationship and you kind of released yourself and that is what um, is prompting this person to contact you. All right, one more card. too many. Okay. Oh, we've got the Ace of Pentacles again. I feel like for a lot of you, this person does want to start over again. They want a new cycle with you. Um, well, thank you so much for watching. If you want the extended reading, click the join button down below. You won't see it if you're on an iPhone because of Google and Apple shenanigans. You'll have to go to a desktop. But I want to look at this person's intentions towards you. And I also want to look at their feelings about you. Um, well, thank you so much for watching. Blessed be.